This is the dream. But this is our patio, or lanai, as they call it here in Hawaii. When coronavirus hit and all the produce was wiped off the shelves, we realized we needed to grow our own food and decided to start with a garden. We happen to live in one of the rainiest parts of the island, where we've been told by many different people that anything will grow here. Well, now we're going to turn our little patio into a small garden and put that to the test. We're gonna do a full tub of kale. We're gonna do a tub of zucchini, squash, cucumbers. We're gonna do a tub of peas and beans, one of broccoli and cauliflower. We're gonna do a tub of peppers, so jalap jalapenos, cayenne, bell peppers, and habanero peppers, and then an entire tub of different tomatoes. We had done a lot of work getting all of this planted. In fact, we had to go all the way to upcountry twice to get the dirt for this. We found th the most amazing soil we've ever come across at my friend's house. She said that we could take as much dirt off of her six acres as we need. So we've gone up there twice and taken like, gosh, I don't even know, like 10 buckets worth and brought it back down here uh, and mixed it with some potting soil. We'll let you know at the end of the video, the other things that we have planted and we'll let you know how much it all cost us to get this going. Snoo, snoo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nice burp, buddy. Okay. I didn't realize just how much food grew around me until I started looking up. Here are a few fruits and veggies that we started to notice just on our daily walks. This is the juiciest avocado tree I've ever stumbled upon. Ridiculous amount of avocados. This is on our upcountry hike. Not bad scenery either. So here are some fruits and veggies that we see every day on this walk right by our house. A guava tree right off the side of the road. And bananas. And more bananas. And more bananas. And even more bananas. And even more bananas. Some ginger. And another guava tree. Of course, there's the quintessential coconuts. And then at the end of our daily walk, there's another avocado tree. different kind of avocado. Crossover, which is very sophisticated stuff. Sometimes they'll bite the keys. She's like reinventing the instrument as we know it. Yeah. Very talented. There he goes. Yep, it's a key very bite. Very talented. That's a key bite. It's a key bite, uh, it looks like in the key of C. A key bite. That's a key bite. So I'm 
gonna take you guys through the garden a little bit and then let you know how much everything costs. By the way, we do have everything linked up in the top of our description box. So if you guys wanna do your own patio garden or if you have a yard better, better yet, then you can get all of that stuff in our description box. Okay, so we started with these two pots here. We love our cats very, very much. We have two of them. And so in this one, we have cat grass. It's called like a four, what was it, babe? It was like a four queens grass mix. Yeah, it's like barley, it's like hardy grasses. Yeah, so it grows really, really tall and fast. We wanted to have it in a big pot so they can notch on it. And then in this lower pot here, we have some cat mint, which I've never heard of before, but apparently it's really beautiful. It has like um, purple flowers that bloom on it, I believe. And it's something that's really good if you do have a big yard, garden. if you do have a big garden, you can plant it around it and it'll kind of like protect it from bugs and stuff, but also be something your cats enjoy. Okay, so moving back, you guys already saw what we're gonna be planting in here. Um, you can see that some of the soil and dirt looks a little differently and it's because this is our first time, so we, we realized that some of the dirt that we got from up the mountain was a little bit too soft and we had to like remix it with potting soil so it had enough room for drainage. So anyway, you guys will see in the next like month what happens here. Things grow super fast, so it's going to be very exciting to see what happens with that. We also have a little bit of like mulch, basically just dead grass in here, right? That's dead grass. Yeah, it's kind of like a hay. Yeah. yeah. A like, straw. Yeah, so we've been watching this awesome channel. Maybe Chad can put something up on the screen. It's called Epic Gardening, and we've been learning tons of amazing, useful facts on that channel. Highly recommend if you want to garden yourself. And he was talking about once you get everything planted, you want to put some sort of mulch on top to protect the soil from the UV rays and to also help with drainage and all that kind of stuff. So once we get everything planted in here, everything is germinating in these little seedling trays, um, then we'll stick the mulch on top and have everything protected. Okay, moving over to this. Oh, wait, 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 over here. In that little far, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna walk on the lava rock. Hopefully I don't see any centipedes. Okay, in this one, doesn't look like much right now, but we have ginger growing. So we learned a cool tip from this channel that you can actually take a piece of organic ginger root that has little nodules on it, which most of those chunks have nodules on them. Just literally put it in a bucket of soil, water it, and it'll just start growing an entire huge ginger leaf and those nodules will sprout off and create more ginger root. So that's very, very exciting. Don't know how long that takes, but he said it's pretty easy, so we'll see. And this bad boy, we actually haven't planted this yet, so we'll show you guys that. What, what do you think, the next video? Probably, yeah. Okay, so we'll show you guys later what's going on with this guy, but this will be for potatoes. So some of you may have heard that you can grow potatoes in like a trash bucket or like a five gallon bucket. So we opted for this guy. It's pretty large, I don't even know how big this is. But basically the premise is you take organic potatoes, you stick them in there, um, you give them water, sunlight, all the good stuff, and as they start to sprout up, you just bury them with more soil, and they start to sprout up, you bury them with more soil until you get to the top. And our five little organic red potatoes that we'll put in here should multiply into like 25. So that's very exciting. Then moving in here, should I open this guy up? If you can. I don't know, it's gonna be hard with baby boy. Squat! Oh my. Yeah, we're kind of, we're kind of an impressive duo, huh, boo boo? Okay. Feel like, does it feel warm in there? Yes, it does feel warm in there. Okay, so we have been contemplating getting a greenhouse because right now obviously it's summertime, but once winter comes around this side of the island, it'll be extremely rainy. So we may still get a greenhouse in the future and move some of the stuff that's starting to grow into the greenhouse and start a new batch out here. TBD, T TBD, <laughs> TBD on that. But we did get this tiny little greenhouse to start all of our herbs and all of our seeds. So as I was saying, we have seeds going in here. So this is all the food we told you guys about earlier, the broccoli, the kale, everything is getting going in there and then we'll transport it into the garden. Up top, we just have tons of herbs, so you can see some of them are really going. I think this is, I have no idea. Something we messed up on, guys, is labeling everything. <laughs> we ran out of labels, and then we kind of just started mix and matching where we were putting stuff, so now we don't know what it is, but it'll be a fun surprise. 
This just started coming up. You can tell there are like tons of little thyme seeds. So cute. Um, and then we have some stuff on bottom. Rosemary, lemon balm, garlic, chives, oregano. All the way on the bottom bottom with lavender and all that good stuff. Okay, so I sat down and went through everything that we purchased to give you guys the exact prices. And again, they're linked up in the description box so you can buy them right to your house in the time of COVID. You don't even have to leave to start your garden. So we had six boxes here. They each came in at $37. We also bought the greenhouse, which was $29. Three terracotta pots, which were $30. Grayson is screaming in the background. Um, a $15 pot for the potatoes. The soil, we spent about $30 for the potting mix. And then also, like we said, we got our own soil. So if you do just potting mix, it'll probably be more expensive for you. Um, $40 for the small pots to begin our herbs in. The little seedling trays were like 10 cents. And then $26 were spent on heirloom seeds. We also took some seeds from our friend Sarah as well for everything that's gonna be going in the garden. So our final cost ended up being $392 for this haul, this investment in food. Now that I've covered all of the prices, we could just sit here and watch and wait and see what's happening. We have a little bit of little sprouts coming up everywhere, which is very exciting. But instead, I think we're gonna go to this amazing hike right behind our house and go on a little waterfall adventure. Make sure to stick around at the end of the video for bloopers, deleted scenes, all the funny weird stuff that didn't make it into the core of this video. Let's get on our Twin Falls adventure. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. All right, yeah, I can go, I can go ahead. We'll make it happen. You see that water over there? Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, you were doing so well, baby boy. See, I was sleeping. Uh, he woke up and realized that he was a little bit tighter in. Well, we just climbed down that. And we're gonna have to climb back up that, I'm pretty sure. But look what's but over here. But it got here. us over here to this beautiful oasis, this so. It. It's on the other let's side. go see what's over here, yeah. Okay. sweat forming on your head. <laughs> we came early because we thought it'd be cooler. It's only 8.30. Yeah, it's only 8.30, but uh, it is not cool. It's blazing right now. All right, I think two and a half minutes of, of this is probably a long enough in the video. You let us know in the comments. Two and a half minutes of our five and a half month old playing piano long enough? You'd like more, <laughs> subscribe. We just told Chad he looks like Mocha Java Man. <laughs> He's got some dirt, some dirt, dirt, and eyebrow dirt. <laughs> you know, I think that's the way to go, but I'm assuming it's not right through the water. Nope, just go right through the water. I think that's, I think that's the way to go. Those were so good. <laughs> we're just hanging. Is he petting? Grayson's learning how to pet Akina and he thinks that these are things he can grab. Okay. He's understanding different dimensions right now. He's also petting Akina. It's a big day. Yeah, it's a big day for little baby Gray.